Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is NBA 2K17. This channel was built by the Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, community, and I'm very grateful. I, I really am. Um, thank you. Thank you all. Um, but um, I've mentioned um, that I play NBA 2K, and there's been some people in the comments saying that they might like to see how I do that or what I do with that. Here's what I do. Um, I play 2K17 because I think that's when the game peaked. I think everything after that, uh, two, in, uh, 2K18, 19, 20, 21, all the way up, um, I just wasn't happy with the mechanics and the way the game played and the way it felt. Uh, the only thing I'm missing by not playing those is the the uh, the superstars that have come out of college, you know, since uh, 2016. So this so 2K17, we're dealing with the college kids that came out in 2016. So this game was actually written in 16, but it's 2K17. It will turn to 2000. It's we're in 2020 at this point. Because what I do is take a team like the Timberwolves who have never won a championship and I want to build them to where they win championships. And then this is year four. We're in game 15. I've won four championships with them. <laughs> All four years, man. Because of Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins. They are the superstars on this team. Wiggins is hurt. That's why... Uh, if you look at his uh, stats over here, mid-range and all this three-point, uh, he's red. He's got the red lines. He's downgraded because he's injured, and I, I, he won't play this game. I, I want to keep him out for one more game, and he'll be fully healthy. But um, what I do is I play until they retire, until my starting five retires, and see how far up the leaderboards, I can get them. The all-time scoring, all-time rebounds, all-time assists, all-time steals, you know, all those records for all the stats that they keep. I try, I'm trying to see how far up the leaderboards I can get them and hopefully break some of those records. Um, uh, for example, well, here, I'll show you. Uh, if we come on down here, now, this is going to be JR's last year. He's been with me all four years that we've played. Uh, you know, he was uh, my backup uh, uh, two guard for Zach Levine, whom I traded uh, to get this guy because this guy is a stud. He's a rookie, and he was um, he was gonna go number one in the draft in 2020, and so I I had to have this guy. He's six foot seven. You can see him up there, 233 pounds. Oh, uh, my goodness. Uh, and he was a point guard in college. I made him the two guard because I have Chris Dunn as my point guard. Uh, and, but this guy is a... Here, I'll show you. He is a beast. Here are his um, his attributes. Uh, inside score. Uh, the blue line is uh, his rating. The red line is the position average. So you can see... That he is above, well, uh, mid-range, he's a little below average. Three-point scoring, he's right on average. Playmaking, I told you he was a point guard. Look at this guy. Look at his blue. This is a rookie coming out, and he is better than the average, way better than the average at everything in his position. Uh, also, if we look at, um, and this will tell you his like his open three, he's is 79. Uh, the position average is 83. He's a little down there, but everything else. Uh, this is a rookie, all right. So I'm going to improve him. Look at his passing. He's he's supposed to be a point guard, but I moved him to the two. Uh, I traded Zach Levine and a couple of draft picks, and you know, to get myself in a position to have the number one pick, so I could get this guy. And uh, you can see he is a stud. But what I wanted to show you here is what I do is if we go over to, uh, what is it? It would be under stats, I think. No, it would be under records. NBA records. You can see Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has the record. This is 2020 now, okay? 2020. LeBron will break that record. He'll, the, he'll do it here, too. 
Uh, he did it in real life, and he will break that record here as well. He's in fourth spot in 2020. All right, so, but what I wanted to show you was three point. Look what I've done with JR in four years. I've got him into third all time. Now he started when I, when I got him, I think he was seventh uh, four years ago. So I moved him up. James Harden is moving up in there right now. He's still playing. And, uh, and Steph, and Steph will break Ray Allen's record. But that's just an example. And this is JR's last year. He's going to retire. He's 35 years old at this point in 2020. And, uh, but I'm moving him up, man. I got him into third all the way from seventh. Uh, so that's the kind of thing I'm doing. Uh, so, uh, and I love, the other thing, I, the reason I do this is because you control everything. You control everything. Uh, you're, you're, G, you're the GM and you're not the owners. Now the owner's going to have goals for you. And these are the goals that I need to meet uh, to keep my owner happy and not get myself fired. So, uh, you know, and I love that. I, I love all of the stuff that you can do. Uh, you can even relocate the team if you want. Uh, coaching, uh, you know, you, 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 you set up the game plan. Uh, we're going to be playing the Clippers. So we go to the Clippers here. Um, rebuild it. Uh, Wiggins is not going to play. They've got Wiggins sitting out. That's fine. I don't want him to play. He's down here on the bottom. And you can adjust the minutes that they play, all that kind of thing. And uh, you can come into here and make adjustments here uh, as to uh, your game plan. Oh, Steve Kerr is my coach. <laughs> I heard Steve Kerr. <laughs> anyway, uh, you hire the coach. You hire the trainers. You hire uh, scouts everything i just love all of this and then you can make your adjustments here as to how you want to play these people their stars are blake griffin in 2020 and chris paul is still there in 2020 so um and then um i'm using the rockets playbook i'm going to change that now we'll leave it on the rockets playbook we'll leave it with the rockets playbook and over here you can make all of these adjustments um offensive focus i have it on neutral uh, there the tip says it should be on neutral but you can change how you can change all of this you can also change all of this in game um, so we are set for the Cavaliers but there's a training you can go into um, you can go into player training and you and you can decide how you want them what you want to emphasize and um, and this will improve the player throughout the years. This is one way to improve your player. Um, and then business, you, you set the prices, right? $70 for tickets is as high as I can go. And you see the fans feel like they are getting an exceptional value at this current price. So I can't go any higher than that or I'll lose fan support. Uh, the parking, they're, they're, they're happy with that. They think that the 17 bucks for hats is fine. They're not real happy with the souvenirs and the programs, you know, but they think it's fair. I can't go any higher or I'll lose them. I'll lose fans, and they're happy with all the food prices. But there's everything that you do. Uh, uh, scouting. These are the guys that I'm scouting. You can see the top guy, uh, Car Carone Riley. These are all um, computer generated because there's no server anymore for 2k 17 for 2017 you know so the computer generates the draft class the, the the college kids that are coming out and so these are the guys that I'm I'm scouting you can see they're not completely scouted um, this guy right down here at the center 7 1 287 pounds here's why I'm interested in him um, if you look here at the scouting report so far, and we've only, what, we're 21%? Uh, fundamentally sound, low post defender, gets the job done, routinely grabs rebounds over much larger players. He's 7'1", 287. What are you talking about? Much larger players. Don't expect any steals from this fellow. These are his weaknesses. Has issues scoring with his back to the basket. But here is why I'm interested in him. Well, it's not going to show it. We haven't got the scouting report out on him yet. Um, I 
I don't know why I'm interested in him. <laughs> Maybe it was this one. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, let's look at this guy. Um, I don't know. But anyway, uh, and I don't know that I'll draft them. Those are just guys that I'm looking at to scout. So you have all of this managerial stuff to do. And I, I dearly, dearly love uh, doing it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play the Clippers. And uh, there was something else I wanted to show you first, though. Oh. With Chris Dunn, I want to break... John Stockton's all-time record for assists, which is almost impossible. you got to play 20 years to do this. And Chris Dunn, you can see LeBron in there. Uh, you can see Chris Paul. He's in third in 2020. And anyway, uh, let's see. Let's, let's head on down here. Bob Cousy, man. He was one of my first basketball heroes. Uh, Boston Celtics back in the 50s and 60s, early 60s. Uh, Chris... Done. My point guard. I want to break this record with. I'm gonna play him till he retires. Where is he? Um, there he is. 4,890 assists so far. This is after four seasons and 15 games into season five. So he's got to play another. I need another 10 years out of him. I'm making 37. The problem is he might retire before that. And the other problem is injuries. Uh, if, he, if I can't get at least 70 games a year out of him, then uh, he won't make it. But that's what I do. I play my, my, my core players, my starting five, like Towns, Wiggins, Dunn, uh, that Kudo guy I showed you. Um, this guy right here, this is his first year. And you can see the, the, the stats on this guy or his abilities at his rookie year. The kid's incredible. He's incredible. And Lawrence, um, he's a, uh, um, a power forward, 7 foot, 270. You can see uh, inside, outside threat. His strengths up there, uh, his main three strengths are his strength, post scoring, and mid range. He can play power forward or center. And I can swap him and, and Towns out at those positions uh, very nicely. So uh, he's 25. Kudos is just a rookie. But I've got it. So I'm going to play them until they retire. And I'll stop recording and we'll jump into a game. I'm not going to play the whole game. I'll just give you a little bit of taste of it. But that's how I do it. That's what interests me about this game. Oh, so I was going to jump into the game. And it tells me that Wiggins is fully recovered. My trainer is telling me that. So we'll adjust the rotations. As you can see, I had Bazemore starting in his place. But we just... What'd it do? Oh, it didn't. Um... Well, I'm gonna change that. We're gonna we're gonna start Wiggins. Bazemore can come off the bench and replace him. And I think everything else is is all good. And you can see my overall offense is first. My overall defense is first. I'm first overall. Uh, we're going up against the Clippers over here. Um, and I built that. I mean, they weren't that way when I started, okay? I built them this way. I, I improved the players uh, during the year through training, and then at the end of the year, you have the uh, ability to uh, improve 10 uh, players uh, with by applying uh, points to them. And so um, let's play the game. It's the 2 oh, Well, I'm not playing the whole game. I'll just give you a little taste. Brought to you here. by Kia. Hello, everybody. Glad you could join us here on 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Kenny the Jet Smith and Dr. Shaquille O'Neal. They'll be up for this game, facing the team that defeated them in the conference semis last season. This is one they've been waiting for. You look at Andrew Wiggins, number one overall pick in 2014. You can see he's just oozing talent. But what is his ceiling ultimately? Reminds me of myself, Ernie has a touch already. Shooting touch, he's deadly from any range. Wait, wait, time out. Does that reminds you of you? Yeah. Remember, Ernie, I'm a prolific MF scorer. What's MF? Most frequently. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if he has the ability to dominate games like Shaq. However, he does have the height, the wingspan, and the first step that 
our comrade does not have. So he will be able to do certain things in a game that he wasn't. So I, I like his game. You're his comrade now. Oh, no, no I'm Russian. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and we've got to be Russian to the game. Here's Kevin Harlan. Nice. Spasiba. <laughs> It's an all-Western Conference matchup in today's game as the Timberwolves come into town for this one. Bringing you another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will join us from the sidelines. Today's game continues this Los Angeles Clippers homestand. Still trying to find that groove they had last year. They'd like to grab hold of some new <clears throat> momentum and get closer, Steve, to where they were a season ago. Yeah, and I think the Clippers, they're a team searching Baseball. for a way to take a leap forward this season. So far, here in the early going, that leap has not existed. Yeah, it hasn't been all bad, though. I mean, they've had some nice wins, and even if they're not an elite-level team, they still have the look of a playoff team. And now let's get a pregame report from David Aldridge, who spoke moments ago with Scott Skye. David. Uh, Kevin, he said dealing with an opponent as solid defensively as the one they're up against today always presents an array of problems. But the key to overcoming those problems, he told me, is balance on offense, keeping the defenders guessing and not letting them get settled in. Let's see if they can pull it off. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. It took me four years to build this team to where it's this good. Baysmore is starting. Oh, I forgot to change it on the Clippers. I changed it on the general. I, I forgot to put Wiggins in on the Clippers uh, game plan. Sorry, uh, Andrew. Tip off goes to Minnesota. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court nice. for Minnesota. Uh, we're in Kent white. Baysmore. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Dunn, and it's Lawrence in at the four. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves getting the first points of the ball game. Henson with the screen. And yeah, Chris. By Dunn. And here's the break at the four. Cat. Oh, and the oh. by Towns. No doubt that is within his range. You see that pick? <clears throat> I think that's he jumped exactly the passing lane. On the break, finish right at the rim. Here. Uh, it's a replay. Chris Dunn jumped the passing lane and picked that off. Um, here. So here comes the pass. So, so lo I mean, Griffin just lobbed it. See that pass? Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. See how high it is? He threw a terrible pass. And then Chris Dunn just reached up like that. Yeah, he threw a lollipop over there like that. He's going to get picked off, boy. Now, you come on down and Chris just zip to the big cat. Boom! Nice. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. Here's Paul after the basket by Minnesota. Chris Paul so hard to stay in front of. Launches a three. Towns. So Minnesota will Gets take it the other way. More. This their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. They take on a team uh, he's a, out a guy the that computer made in the that I drafted. And uh, so I think it's his third year. After the basket by Minnesota. Picked by Griffin. Uh -oh. Paul kicks to Griffin. He dishes it to Decker. That drops. So I'm and controlling number three. Griffin. You can only control one guy at a time. First points of Look the at this. The they ball. left Kudo wide open. For the three. Oh, Doesn't he missed go it. that time. Some solid it's defense. Okay, you got to take that shot, man. You're wide open. Paul kicks to Harris. 
Back to Paul. There's a screen. Five to shoot. Griffin gets to Decker. Here's Harris. Misses the three. Get it to Don. The Los Angeles Clippers go do a coming layoff to this on one Paul. after the win against Boston. And they were really locked in from beyond the arc in that game. I mean, the results wouldn't have looked anything like it did had it not been for their ability from beyond. Now, I think that translates from the ball oh, movement, Bobby. solid picks, doing everything Chris possible Paul. to generate good looks. I, 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 I mean, he lost Defensively, me. that position <clears throat> better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. If you're the coach, you hope it's a wake-up call. Get them to tighten things up on the inside and start protecting the rim with a little oh. bit more authority. And so the ball out of bounds. Hinson they stole the ball from me. He got the rebound, but then he, he lost the handle on it. We're going to take a three here. Watch. All the way over here, lose your man. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. <laughs> Who knows what happened Sorry. there, but I'm sure the defense is aware they dodged a bullet. Paul so hard outside. to stay in front of Chris Paul. There's the screen. Ball's knocked loose. Yeah, baby. And stolen by Dunn. And done with the slam. I reach in there, done. hit the X button, and you can uh, steal. The so good at sticking his hands set and him up pretty good. And coming away it's with ten steel. to five, guys. We're Ball in control. Fires from fourteen, Blake. and he can't dunk that his one rebound in. over to town. Over the dish to Towns against Henson, and it's good. Only a few seconds. It is twelve to five, y'all. Towns has got six points. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Baysmore on Decker. Harris outside. Yeah! Oh, we almost intercepted another one. Paul outside. Harris outside. Got to stay with shot Paul, clock man. at six. Got to stay right with him. I'm trying. A shot. And the Clippers miss again. Towns. Towns leading by seven, and it's Towns oh. penetrating. Yeah. That one goes in for him too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. It's fourteen to five, guys. To stop that. For his size, Towns is so difficult to keep in front. This game's he over. He's a big shot here to get this offense going. Well, too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Most likely over. Paul outside. I tried for the steal. Griffin kicks to Henson. Expanding his range, and again yeah. the Clippers missing. X is Minnesota, they took the win in their last nice game move. against the Kings. You like that Kevin, move? You like that move? I did that. important it is to Woo. have a strong bench. I mean, when you are on the road, that depth boom, boom. is vital. I, that, I think did, they really utilized um, the second unit people to know, extend who their play the game know how I did that move. And just really wore down their opponent. You know, you make a great point because teams on the road usually lean on their stars. But in that one, they went straight to the bench and they 17 to 5. Point. They got to call a timeout. 12. They have to call a timeout. Los Angeles I told calls you. timeout. Woo! <laughs> and as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every and one of these the players knows it. Uh, sure and you can make adjustments. It's right now I've got it on um, your A game. If you I can change it to run and transition, transition but we're already out running these guys. Some games. crash, when some run. You can uh, crash the defensive glass. You see the light moving around the triangle. You can. I'm just saying this for people that don't know how to know the game. My defense is set on neutral, I can put it on yeah, physical, I think he'd like them to play or I can a play it on conservative. Uh, so there's all these different changes. Uh, I can change the sets, I can play zone. Right now we're in man-to-man. -man. I can go a 3-2 zone or a 2-3 zone, all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's it, that's all I'm gonna record. I'll keep playing the game, but I just wanna give you a little taste um, and, and explain to you how, you know, why I do what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you can come on down here and you can you can sub people out. You can see Chris Dunn is hot. He's on fire. Um, Baysmore Lawrence and Towns is on fire. And that gives them a boost. You see the green arrows? That's because they're on fire. They're hot. They heat it up. Where is... Oh, I didn't make the change on the Clippers lineup. I just changed... Uh, I put Wiggins in... 
on the, the general one. I didn't do it for the Clippers. I needed to go to the Clippers and put him in. So he's not even here. Ah, oh, sorry, Andrew. I really messed that up. Uh, anyway, um, so that's it. I mean, that's, and then there's all this stuff. You can, we can look at the box score. And we can see Decker's the only one who's he's got three. Chris Paul has uh, two. He also has a turnover over here. We stole the ball from him. Blake has a turnover. We stole the ball from him. Um, and then you go to our guys. Um, Carl Anthony Towns has eight points already. Uh, Chris uh, Dunn has four points, a rebound, two assists, and two steals. And you, you can see that. Uh, Lawrence, my, my big seven-foot... Um, power forward ha is doing a rebound. He's got three rebounds and three assists already. And then these guys haven't played yet. But you can sub substitute in anybody you want right here. With substitutions, you can uh, you can mess with the matchups, defensive settings. Uh, you can look at your player's health. Uh, Jefferson is out for four to six weeks for them. I don't have any injuries, and I screwed up. I didn't bring Wiggins because... I was talking and I didn't uh, I didn't put him in. My bad. Anyway, that's it. That and I just I just do this until uh, and try to move him up the leaderboard. I play until Carl Anthony Towns, Andrew Wiggins, Chris Dunn, Kudo, Lawrence, until they retire. I play them until they're you know, 37, 38, 39, maybe 40 years old. Who knows? All right, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.